Keenan Channels here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty, and uh, today we're taking a look at lot 242 in Bluffs on the Potomac, uh, Romney, West Virginia. Um, this is a 24-acre lot here in the Bluffs, uh, and as you can see, you got this fantastic view, and that's facing due south. Uh, and you're looking at uh, Romney Mountain is going to be the close mountain here. And the town of Romney is just on the other side of that mountain. And the south branch of the Potomac River is on the other side of that mountain. And as you're looking this way, the top of the mountain you see off in the distance, that's south branch mountain there that you're looking at in that direction facing south. But uh, this is a really nice lot. And, uh, you know, a couple features about it. So there's a long driveway so this lot already has a driveway on it so you can see my truck park there at a little pull-off spot but it's probably about 200 yards up there uh to the subdivision road which is called uh, dumpling ridge road and it comes down in here so you're located really privately on the lot uh you know just having this driveway in place you know right there is probably about ten thousand dollars uh, with the driveway and a little clearing that's here, um, that, that's an easy ten grand uh, in terms of like if you had to pay somebody to come in here and do this. And at one time, this area here was bigger. Uh, you know, like the there was a bigger clearing here at one time, which it wouldn't take much to uh, kind of get it back to that point now. But like if you see where all these little pine trees are here and stuff. I mean, at one time that was all, you know, open and stuff like that, but wouldn't take much to get that open back up. But your building site is essentially going to be like right in here, you know, uh, about where this little shed is. Um, you know, or you're going to build off here something like this, you know, with a walkout basement, you know, and this will be at grade back this way. But uh, this is where you, you know, take advantage of the view and stuff from here. Uh, that's a good shot of it there. And uh, this little shed, I, I guess it's going to stay. Not not 100% on that yet. Uh, but you got a little fire ring here. Um, I don't know what all is going to stay or go with this. Um, but I'll figure that out when I write the ad and include that in there. But this is just a little you know plastic shed that you put together to keep some stuff in here. And... Um, I'm going to get this foiler fired up and take it for a spin. I, it, it does not convey. But what I think is going to convey here, um, the owner has this little solar panel set up here. And um, and I'll clarify, you know, for sure what conveys when I when I do the ad. But, uh, you know, the owner had a camper down in here, and that was enough, you know, to basically uh, enough juice, I guess, to run the lights in the camper and stuff like that. Not really any AC or anything like that. I don't know that it makes that much juice, uh, but that's what that's there for. But really the electricity, um, like I said, if you just follow the driveway up right there to Dumpling Ridge, I mean, there's electricity right there. So it's not like you can't get electricity here. You're just gonna have to bury it underground back here. You know, I mean, it, there's a pole right there at the top of the driveway. So, um, Let's check that out. Now I've got a cloud I'm dealing with here. But let me uh, let me walk you up here. This, this lot is just covered in, uh, it's pretty much all hardwood. There's very little pine here. So it's got all nice hardwoods on, a lot of chestnut oak and, uh, and white oak. But you can see this lays nice. This part of the property lays nice up through here. And like I said, this just goes right up to, um, to Dumpling Ridge Road. I'll walk you up here and show you the show you the map. But this little area right here is just kind of like a like a nice parking spot, you know, right in here. There's a little basket for a back of a pickup there. But let me show you what we got. So let me get that in the shade there. So right here is Dumpling Ridge Road. That's a subdivision road during the bluffs. And the driveway comes down in here, down this ridge, just like so. And you can see the little shed right here. So that's where we're at. We're right in here. And then it continues. This, uh, you know, that this is the driveway, but 
you know, that driveway's not as pronounced, but there's a road that goes down in here and goes down onto the next lot below you. Now, that's not a right-of-way or anything like that. I mean, <clears throat> nobody has a right-of-way through here. Um, but the majority of the lot goes this way. So it goes down across this big hollow here, and there's a little stream down there. That's called Dumpling Run that's down here in the bottom, and I'll, I'll do some video down there. And then it goes over and on top the ridge here in the back. And this is really nice over here. Um, and there's a path, and I'll explain all this when I get over there. But there's a path, like an old logging road over here, that kind of crosses these lots, you know, and, and gets you on this back ridge back here. Um, and I'll explain all that as I do my video as I go. But um, keeping, and this is way, way, way back in the bluffs. So... Uh, you know, we're, we're kind of towards the back of the place. So, you know, you're back in here a ways. I mean, once you, uh, turn off Route 28 on Grace's Cabin Road, it's probably, you know, a solid, you know, eight or nine miles back here. You're probably, you know, six miles off, five, six miles off the paved road back in here. But the roads are good to get back here. There's no issue getting back here. Good roads. Um, but the further back you go, I mean, the more kind of private it gets. Uh, there's only, um, one, two, three houses back in this whole section of the bluffs. So it's pretty wild and untouched back here. And of course, when you're in the bluffs, uh, you, uh, have access to the common area there on the river for the community. But, uh, this is a good lot. We'll just keep going here, and I'll I'll take a couple different videos and piece together here and, and give you a good look at this thing. Keenan Shane Holtz here again, West Virginia Land and Home Realty on lot 242 in the Bluffs. And what I want to show you is here, uh, so this is where you come in off a of dumpling, come down through here, sheds here, and I've come all the way down this road uh, and then right here is where the property corner kind of is right beside this path and jumps across across the hollow and over on the other ridge. So I just want to point this out here. I, I drove the old Arctic cat down in here. But uh, but anyway, so about, oh, it's right here someplace. Uh, you know, so this basically when you're going back up to dumping, it goes about this angle and runs all the way down through here in the corners like about right here. And this is where it kind of jumps across the road here. And as you can see, this path goes on down to the neighbor down here. Uh, like I said, they don't have a right of way or anything like that, but uh, basically what they've worked out, the owner of this property has worked out with the neighbors. Uh, and, and I don't know why they wouldn't be amenable to doing that with the new owner of this lot. They kind of trade uh, use of trails for ATV riding and stuff because it's kind of beneficial for both parties uh, to be able to use the trails that kind of cross back and forth between these two properties. But um, so what the property does here, it goes down into this hollow and then goes up on that next ridge back there so that you get this whole big hollow in here goes with. And I'll take video down there and stuff, but just taking you as we go here. Keenan Shan Holtz here again, West Virginia Land and Home Realty on lot 242 in the Bluffs. And I'm down here in this holla uh, that runs down through the middle of the property. And I'm on the far down side of the property. So the property's going to go a long ways this way up the holla. And this is obviously just a wet weather stream, you know. Uh, but you can see the four-wheeler sitting there. And there's a path that kind of runs, you know, all the way down through the holla here, you know, for the ATV and stuff like that. And then this little creek here uh, feeds a pond down there a little bit further down the highway there on the neighbor. But uh, so what the property does, um, you know, that that far down, uh, down the hollow line is only about, oh, 50 yards or so there below me. And then the property, like I said, is going to run up the hollow a long ways, but I'm going to ride you up here on top of the ridge in the back and show you that. But uh, that's a nice little feature here to have that water running down here. It sounds good. Keenan Channels here again, lot 242 in the bluffs. Just wanted to take another shot here. So I'm sitting on this four-wheeler path. 
that runs up the hollow here and uh just wanted to show you i mean I, i've come right up that path there and i'm about directly in line with where the shed and the building site's going to be up on the ridge that way and uh i think i see something pretty cool here let me set the parking brake on this floor uh, let me walk up oh yeah that's cool so you got a waterfall up here man that's really neat uh and i mean as you go up this hollow though obviously the trickle of the water is going to get smaller but check this out this is pretty neat and this hollow is wide down here all big hardwoods and stuff i mean easy shooting down here to hunt the owners have taken some nice deer off this property over the years uh here up. Well, everybody can have a laugh at that. I just bit the dust, but it was worth it. Check this out. Probably got dirt and leaves all over the phone now. But uh, check out that waterfall down here in the highlight. Really cool. So you got that and you got to see me fall, which when my wife sees that, she's really gonna laugh. But uh, yeah, look at that. It's really pretty down here. Uh, let me back this off. There you go. Everybody got a laugh and got to see a cool waterfall. Keenan Channels here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty. Uh, so I'm on lot 242 in the bluff still, and I'm back here at the back on this back ridge. Got this awesome tree, uh, tree house that was built back here uh, that obviously comes with the property. And let me kind of show you where we're at right here. So we are so i started you out you know up here so here's where the driveway comes in went down here took a video went down here on the neighbor come back up the holla took a couple videos here and then i fell right here then i went back and there's a path that comes up and right now i'm just about right here on top of this ridge in the back as you can see there's beautiful views and stuff from back here but it's pretty close to the property line so i'm gonna zoom in here I don't know if you can see that purple posted sign on the tree, but that's going to be the back property line. But this path, this old, and I used to, at one time I used to own the lots next door to this. And I drove my truck all the way back in here, you know. Now you can't, you're not going to be able to do that from this lot or whatever, but, uh, but I mean, they're good wide, you know, woods roads back here. But uh, check out the tree stand back here. Great place to sit back here and hunt uh, on this back ridge. But like I said, you're going to have to strike a deal or whatever with the neighbor here, uh, uh, the neighbors beside of you to, to get back in here, you know. And I think the deal they had was they let these the folks who own this lot, you know, get back here on this ridge so they could ride their ATVs on, the, on this property back in here. You know, just a nice mutual trade uh, that's worked out well for everybody. There's a good shot of the tree stand right there, but uh, this property has a lot to offer. I mean, uh, you got a good building site up there with the driveway already into it. Great views from there. Uh, you know, it's close to the electricity to the build site. You got the big wide hollow down there, big woods to hunt in with a little stream, wet weather stream down there. And you got this back ridge back here, which feels like a completely different property all in of itself back here. And this is all very isolated from other kind of like homes or building sites in here so uh and where i'm at if you cross this highlight and go back up on top uh i'd say the building site's probably right up this way at about one o'clock or so maybe or two o'clock so uh that's a great property so much to offer and it's 24 acres most of these lots in here are 20 acre lots you know, for a good lot in here, a good 20 acre lot, something of this caliber, you know, it's gonna be 6,000 an acre probably for the starting point. You know, and if you do the math, uh, that's uh, 144,000 at 6,000 an acre. Plus this lot has $10,000 at least worth of infrastructure on it with the driveway and clearing that's there. So that puts you at 154,000. We're asking 137,500 for this lot. So, uh, if you figure it that way, you're getting a couple acres for free the way the math works out. So uh, if, if you go by the averages. 
come check this one out. It's not going to last long. Well, I figured I'd take a video sitting in the treehouse here. So, uh, if you're sitting back here and you're not seeing any deer, which you probably will see deer back here, there's plenty of them, at least you got a good view from back here. So, uh, just bring your little buddy heater back here and set. Great place to enjoy the day with, with somebody back here. Two people fit in this, uh, fit in this tree house pretty easy. And, uh, I mean, what a nice feature that is. This is all, you know, built by hand and everything. Uh, it's got, they took pine here and made the siding for it and stuff. Uh, it's really cool. Gina Chan holds here again. One last video here. Well, this will be the next to last video because I always make the, the common area video, the last one on these bluff slots. But I did, since I started, took the first video here as I'm going around, I called the owner there. And basically, uh, the shed is going to come with the picnic table, the solar panel set up there, and then uh, there's a grill uh, inside the shed there that'll come with. That is, unless for some reason you don't want that, you know, the owner can dispose of it. But, I mean, who doesn't use a picnic table and a grill, you know? And the shed's obviously handy. And uh, like I said, if you wanted to have some little hookup there, you know, that solar panel puts out a little bit of juice for stuff or whatever. So, uh, I'm not super familiar with how them things work. But, uh, but anyways, uh, just look at that. It's a really pretty property. I mean, you could hear a pin drop back here. It's just as quiet and private back here as anybody could ask for. And uh, luckily, we were blessed with a beautiful day here today. And uh, so, you could see this property all its glory. See the waterfalls in the stream see me fall and bite the dust see the tree house back there it's really cool uh i really enjoyed going around this property and you will too keenan shan holds here west virginia land and home realty i'm at the uh bluffs on the potomac community river access area uh on the south branch of potomac river and uh this is one heck of a nice feature that most uh developments around here hardly any for that matter have um, but, uh, it's kind of like a little park down here. Uh, there's picnic benches, pavilions, um, so you can come down here and have a picnic. It kind of makes the bluffs a four season retreat, you know, cause if you like to hunt or you like to be up here in the fall when the leaves are changing, it also gives you an opportunity to be here in the summer and do a float trip on the river or just come down here and hang out. Uh, you'll see. They got steps down to the river right there, you know, so you can take out and stuff, and you'll see some geese down there floating in the river. Um, but uh, the South Branch is good for like a canoe, kayak, john boat, you know, tube. There's smallmouth, largemouth, catfish, carp, the whole bit in here. Um, and there's a DNR access point about three miles up river from here if you want to do a half day trip or you can put in at the bridge at Romney, which is about eight miles up, and that's a nice all day trip down to here. So uh, just a very, very nice feature that uh, not too many places have. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that uh, the Bluffs is such a popular place. Um, but uh, just check it out. It's, it's hot out today, I might get in.